I watched the Side Hustle YouTube video, started a print-on-demand business, and made $2 million in one year working just four hours a week. No, I'm just kidding. Here's the truth. I watched and read Side Hustle ideas for years in hopes of finding the one Side Hustle to give me more income. I then tried the Side Hustles they talk about for the past 10 years, and I could not find life-changing Side Hustles. It did leave me broke lonely and tired. I tried mystery shopping, taking surveys, I started a blog, I started eBay reselling, and I did social media marketing in the past 10 years on the weekends and nights. How much money did I make? I made $0 from mystery shopping, $0 from taking surveys, $100 from my blog, $200 from eBay reselling, and $1,500 from social media marketing over 10 years before taxes. The reality of side hustles is that they are not something that the average person can will their way to success with hard work. Side hustles need one thing for the side hustle to be successful and that is knowledge. And knowledge is hard to learn. I started an anonymous Twitter account four years ago. I grew the account to 40,000 followers. In the end, I made $1,500 in total over four years and that is not a typo. A 40,000 follower account on Twitter is a top one percent twitter account and i could only make one thousand five hundred dollars from it i cannot imagine for the other 99 percent of accounts i learned that convincing a customer to pay ten dollars in exchange for a hundred dollars of value is more difficult than what's said online cnbc youtubers and influencers talk about how they made one thousand five hundred dollars per month after building an app in six hours let's talk about that first the title is misleading it is true he built the app in six hours but the title leaves out that he wrote 400 blog posts to market the app like how he says in the video. I wrote one good blog post in two and a half hours when I had a blog. That means the YouTuber invested 1,000 hours to write blog posts and market the app. 1,000 hours to make $1,500 per month is $1.50 per hour before taxes and expenses. Not including ongoing blog posts he has to make to market the app. It would have been better to invest 1,000 hours focusing on a 95 job to get a $10,000 per year promotion or getting a second job. This is the truth about side hustles. It takes more time and knowledge than what the headlines say when watching the actual content. It is not about working an hour here and there to make an extra $1,500 per month passively. It is about putting in the hours to gain the knowledge and even then it still may not work. Before investing valuable weekend and nighttime building a side hustle, I will talk about four truth about side hustles that can save my viewers time and money. First truth of side hustles. It is easier to make more money by being excellent at one thing and selling the value to who needs it than it is to build a side hustle. Like this butler who made 2.2 million dollars in one year. A good software developer who is great at building apps will make more money building apps for customers than building their own app and selling t-shirts to customers. A good realtor who spends most of their time mowing lawns on the weekends will not make as much money as a good realtor who spends time selling and closing real estate deals with customers. The truth is, millionaires become millionaires because they are great at maxing out one income stream instead of creating these seven sources of income that the internet talks about. Instead of spending 1,000 hours building an app for $1,500 per month, it is easier and better to spend the time job hopping that increases income by $20,000 per year. The second truth about side hustles. Side hustles require you to actually get good and even then it might not make money. I created a 40,000 follower Twitter account that is in the top 1% of accounts. I am good at creating content. But it took me 4 years and tens of thousands of tweets to find out what content people gain value from. I thought through my content every day, analyzed who my audience was, and thought of content ideas that I thought could help the most amount of people on top of my day job. Not only was it hard to gain the followers, it was smart work to understand the Twitter platform, my competition, and user likes and dislikes. At the end of the day, I was not able to have a good side income. In the four years of being on Twitter, I also saw accounts who invested money into courses to learn Twitter and even tweet more than me, but they could not gain the same amount of followers or influence as me. It shows that putting in the hours is not enough to grow a side hustle to 
successfully make money and it actually requires good knowledge to be able to grow and even after learning the knowledge it still may not be enough like me who only made $1,500 in total over four years and I was single when growing the account I can only imagine that it is harder for someone who is in a relationship or has a family to take care of to start a side hustle the third truth of side hustles is that getting a customer is harder than it sounds the popular saying is that if you have 1,000 true fans each paying you $10 per month that is $10,000 per month to be able to earn a full-time income with out of the 40,000 Twitter followers I have I could not get someone to pay me $10 let alone $10 per month now Part of it was on me because I did not actively try to monetize my account but that is to say that it is difficult to not only create value for others and have a good product idea at the same time for others to get more value from and pay money for. The ones who are successful with social media monetization invest money into joining a mastermind group to talk ideas with but finding a good group to join is also hard in the beginning. One Twitter account I saw sold ebooks that is 100 pages Ages long. The amount of time he spent creating the ebook must have been at least a month on top of his duties as a husband father and an employee. The fourth and final truth of side hustles is that creating value is hard. A side hustle has to provide entertainment, educational, or informational value, but that is where it is hard. Value is not determined by the person with the side hustle. Value is determined by the customer who can decide to change their mind. I've been watching YouTube videos for the past 10 years and I've seen videos with high effort and beautiful content that does not have views because viewers did not think the content was valuable. I create YouTube videos that I think will add value but value is not determined by me but rather my viewers and subscribers. So when I see a video not do so well, I lay down on my bed and cry myself to sleep. No, I'm just kidding? At the end of the day, I create videos that I hope is helpful and if it helped just one person become richer with one idea that I gave them, then it makes me happy. To be fair, there are good side hustles that I believe makes money in the first month of trying them and create income. For example, credit card churning. This is when you sign up for a credit card, spend money on expenses that you are going to spend money on anyway, and collect sign up bonuses in cash. I made between $2,000 to $3,000 with sign up bonuses, not including the cash back I earned by spending money I was going to spend money on anyway. Some credit cards offer hundreds of dollars in sign up bonuses, and some even offer thousands of dollars. Credit card churning is one example of a side hustle that can bring an income in in one month and makes sense for an employee with a day job. The other side hustle is bank account churning, which is when you sign up for a bank account, earn the sign up bonuses, and closing the account after. Bank account churning can make someone up to $10,000 per year if done the right way and potentially $20,000 per year with a significant other. Banks learn that it is better to spend marketing dollars on their customers than it is to spend marketing dollars on TV. Even if customers cancel after collecting the sign up bonuses. Another way to make good side income is to invest money into simple low cost index funds and holding on to the investment over the long term and never selling. This way someone can have 9 to 5 income, side hustle income, and investment income that helps them become a millionaire faster. In fairness, side hustles can be a good way to make more money and build wealth sooner. I do not mean to say that there are no legitimate side hustles to make more money on the weekends and nights. but it is to say that side hustles that no one is talking about that actually work are not as easy as their favorite online influencer says that it is or they are leaving important details out. I will make a good side hustle video in the future that actually brings in income to recommend to my viewers and subscribers to earn a good side income with. For now, the best way to turn $50 into $1,000 is to put gas in your car and drive to work. I truly believe a 9 to 5 job with regular rates and promotions creates wealth for more people than any other gimmick or a side hustle. I offer one hour one on one money, career, and business coaching calls in the description below to help increase your net worth for just a $150 investment. If my video gave you value, 
smash the like and subscribe button for more free money content and get richer. If you want to see my full financial journey on how I got here, I left a video here for your enjoyment. Thank you for watching. See you next time.